Cat back again with more blogs and this time we're looking at setting up a blog with WordPress.com. So we start off by going to the website WordPress.com and from here we can hit get started and, or if we have existing details we can log in with those details. So sign up or get started here. And we start off by picking a web address. So we might call this one Rosny PL again, and it should check whether or not that's okay. Now the reason this one's okay, um, even though we've used it before, is this time it's .wordpress.com, where the other one was what .blogspot.com. So we're just going to reuse that. Um, our username, <clears throat> I might just use cat.stam. Decide on a password. Oh, so I can't have the dot, cat stamp, password, and put in an email address. So as we go, it'll tell us if these things are okay. So that email address hasn't been used yet, that username hasn't been used yet, and that address is free. Uh, we'll be blogging in English and here it will tell us uh, what we can do. So we could sign up for an account and get lots of different features or we could just go the free version which is just the free blog. So I'm, especially if you're just trying out blogging to start with, I would definitely go um, a free blog to start. And if you find that it is something that you want to um, go further with and maybe make money with, then I'd probably look at uh, upgrading but to start off with we're going to create a free blog okay so an email has sent has been sent to my email account to activate and if I don't activate within two days it, I will need to sign up again so I don't have to do that instantly so I'm just going to go through the uh, the rest of the process so my first name cat last name Stam about myself I'm an IT teacher who loves blogging. Uh, you might put something more more decent there. I'm just as this is an example, I'm just gonna go with something basic. So I'm gonna save the profile for now. And I think it's gonna wait for me to activate that account by the sounds of it because it doesn't appear to be saving. So I might just check my email. And from here I activate my blog. Okay, from here we then get to choose our um, our template like we did last time. Be aware though here some of them cost money so you need to choose one, uh, especially if you're going the free option then make sure that you choose a free blog, uh, sorry free blog theme. Um, so I'm just going to pick this one for now. Don't forget that like with Blogger you can go back and change the theme if you didn't like it. So, yeah, I'm happy to roll with that for now. And this is said, yep, we're done, welcome. And from here there are a few ways that I can go into my dashboard. So this button here returns me to the WordPress.com homepage. But from here I do have access to some of my dashboard. I can also go up to my profile and go Rosny PL and go to my dashboard from there. So the dashboard here is a little bit different but it is still a, a menu on the left. And so I've got my dashboard, I've got posts, I've got media, links if I want to add links, pages, comments and so on. We've got the appearance, 
So obviously the appearance is where we would go to look at more themes. So here you can see purchase or activate the free ones compared to the expensive ones. Um, but let's just go into posts. And it's already created a post for me. And if I click on that, it will go in to edit that post. We might actually just start by having a look at what the blog looks like. And from there, we can click on Rosny PL. And that should take us to our blog. So this, one, this is what it looks like at the moment. Now, my blog name and my URL are the same. But Rosny PL as a name doesn't actually sound very good. So I might try to find a way to go back in and change it. Other than that, I'm quite happy with the clean look of this, um, of this template. So I'll go into my dashboard, which I can now access from Rosny PL as well. Okay, so let's just have a look. And it just shows us all the basic information on that front page. And we want to look for a place that will allow us to edit that title. So I'm going to have a look at my blogs. And from here, um, I can see that blog. Let's click on it. And we go into the admin for that one. What we want to do is we want to change that name. And I always have trouble finding it. It might be an appearance. <coughs> That's our themes. We've got widgets. So you can add extra things like search bars or link boxes or whatever. We've got menus, header. So I can <clears throat> put in a different picture in there. Here's some other ones that I can choose from. I might use that one. And I'll save that. Okay. Keep going, let's go to background. So I can choose a background image if I like, custom design. We won't be looking at custom design. <coughs> so we might actually keep going and might look in settings. And here we go, we've got the site title. So we might go Rosny Professional Learning. And my tagline says four out of Five dentists recommend this wordpress.com site. That really is not a good tagline for something that's about professional learning. Um, so I might say Rosny Professional Learning, learn blogging with cat, because that's sort of what this has been about. I can select my time zone here if I want to. Um, I can select my date format, time format, what day of the week starts on and so on. And we save changes. And I can put in an icon if I like as well. So let's have a look if that's worked. Rosalind Professional Learning, Learn Blogging with Cat, and a little picture that I slightly prefer. And now we can start to think about posting. So let's go back into our dashboard. Let's go to Posts, All Posts. And we might delete that one that was auto-generated by clicking on, hovering over it and clicking Trash. And we're going to create a new one by saying add new. From here, let's get a, give it a title. So we might say first blog post. Posty, post. Okay, so I've just typed in some text and from here I can actually add some things as well. So I can select my text and I can make it bold or italic. Um, I can add additional features. So show and hide the kitchen sink. If you want to have lots of different options to pick from, you, you might want to see your kitchen sink. You can choose your font style by different um, options here, heading one, heading two and so on. I uh, might choose heading three. 
I can underline if I like. I can change the alignment to full or left, centered or right. I can change my color and a few other options. So I might change that. I might leave that as paragraph text, uh, make it a different color. Now if I want to insert a picture, I click on this button here, which is to add media. And from here, I would select the file I want to add. So I might just add that avatar like I did last time. Okay, let's try again. Open. Oh, sorry, it's already, it's already added down the bottom there. Now if I want to show some details there, I can. This is the title of the picture. I can put alternate text, so if the image doesn't show up, what text will show up instead. I can link it to something. I can change its alignment, so I might set it to right, and then set its size and insert into post. So I can also move this, oh, I can resize it. Okay, I haven't done that before. Uh, to change the size, normally you would click on this little button here and you can change its size from there. You can go down in size and update. Okay, from here we can save the draft if we are not ready to publish or we can just hit publish. Yay, you've published one post. Um, you get little, uh, little marker points and they congratulate you, which is, you know, nice, I guess. Uh, if I want to view the post, view the blog, I just click on the blog name up the top and there's my first post. Go back to my dashboard. And let's say I wanted to add in a YouTube video. Um, from Add Media, we can go from a URL, so we can say that is audio, video, or another file. So what I would do is go to YouTube and find a video I like. Oh, with tiny umbrella. Uh, this one's just really adorable. Um, of course it has absolutely nothing to do with my blog but we're just showing an example here uh, and what I would do is I would grab that URL so I select it all and command C or control C to copy it and I go back to my blog post and I paste the link in and I give it a title so I'm going to call it Slow Loris with Tiny Umbrella Obviously, you should be putting in um, clips that relate to your blog, but this is just a demonstration of how to add them in. So we say insert into post. And it just shows up there as a YouTube link. So what we might do is just hit preview and see if it's edit, added that in as a video. And it has. Okay. So... To just remind you of what that was, you click on Add Media from URL. It is video. You paste in the YouTube link, give it a title, and insert into post. <clears throat> if it was a, um, a document that you wanted to add in, so this is the file types that are accepted, JPEG, PNG, GIF are image files. We've got PDFs, Docs, PowerPoints, um, Open Office. Uh, Excel and so on, you can just select files to navigate to where they are on your computer and then insert them into your post. If you're not sure what things you've uploaded but haven't added in, you go to your gallery and it'll show you what items you've got there and you can say show to show the details and insert into post one by one. So you can upload a bunch and then insert them all separately if you like. Okay, so as with your first blog, um, I would suggest from here, you create a few new posts, change the details of those posts, change colors, add in pictures, add in videos, um, change a theme, maybe have a go at adding some widgets as well, 
and really have a play and become comfortable with it and then delete all your playing posts and start blogging for real. Good luck with it. Make sure that you come and see me once you're familiar with the basics and I'll go into some of the more complex stuff with you. Good job.